It's a windy day, but we wanted to be outside. My grandson is spending the night. And I had watched a video recently by Prepper Logic. And he said, you know, how many people are just armchair viewers? So he was kind of uh, challenging people to go out and actually make a trap. So today, my grandson and I are going to try to make a trap. Now, is this a deadfall trap or something like that? Nope. But it's something that he's been interested in. And we're just using some common items that you could find in the trash. The main items are two two liter bottles and you should have a knife or a cutting implement and well we'll show you the rest i've been trying to catch a crawfish for a long time but i didn't know exactly how so my grandma helped me make a trap now i'm trying to get that crawfish okay we got our supplies two empty two liter bottles we got some rocks here we're going to use those for weights. And we're going to cheat here and use zip ties because that's a lot easier. Of course, you could use any cordage you have, fishing line for what we're going to do, or even make your own cordage. But we're doing this quick because how old are you, Liam? Seven. Seven-year-olds do not have long attention spans. So, and then we just have some supplies here to be able to cut it. So let's get started. So we want to cut this bottle a little more in halfway and we want to keep this side. So let's try to mark it here. And this will not be very exact. Okay. Now what I found the hardest part is getting started on cutting it. You have to be careful if you're using a knife. Let's see if we can squeeze it up a little. Maybe if we let out some air. You want to keep the lid though. There, now it's easier to squeeze it. There we go, I heard it. I thought I heard it. There we go. Once you get that first pole, it gets a lot easier. Then you're just following your line around. We already cut this one. Okay, we're going to put our bait in here. You want me to go grab the bait? Yeah, get the bait. And while he does that, I'll put some rocks in here. This is just to give it some weight so it stays on the bottom. That should weigh it down. And we have some lovely bait. See where we got these, Liam? We were fishing today and we caught some fish and we ate some of it. And so my grandpa cut the heads off and we took two heads and a lot of guts. Look, it isn't that beautiful. And what kind of fish is this? Bluegill. Bluegill, because that's what Grandpa likes. So we're going to try bluegill bait. How does that sound? Yeah. Okay, I think that's enough for right there. Now, we're going to put this in here. Let's get that bait back further, huh? Yeah. Are we going to put some guts in there? You know, I guess we got some guts. Why not use them, huh? Yeah. All right, those just lovely. Okay. Yuck. Okay. Now we just got to put this on here. We're going to use some little zip ties and a three-hole punch. So we take this and. Good enough. There we go. 
Oh, this is smelling so good, Liam. Another one right, right about here. to get this out of the house. I'm surprised the cats aren't meowing. Okay, and then we need one over here. Now have our lovely trap. Right here we have fish head and guts. So the idea of this trap is little crayfish goes swimming around, smells the bait and goes, hmm, I'm gonna go in through this funnel. It gets in here and then for some reason it's supposed to not know how to get back out. So we'll have to see if that's true. Now I think we're gonna put a, just a couple holes up here so we can put some rope on it so we can easily pull it out. Pull it up and in. Yep. Scrooch it around a little. There. So now we have the hole for a rope and we'll get that. Now I should mention if you wanted to reuse this trap a lot, you would want this end to be like this so you could unscrew and put bait in and out. Or you could put like a netting back here and that you could get easily in and out. But Liam's only gonna be here for the weekend, so we don't really need to keep doing that. So we're gonna put some rope on it, and then what are we gonna do? Catch a crayfish. That's right, we're gonna catch a crayfish. So you got the trap, Liam. Are you ready to go try it out? Yep. Are we gonna catch them? Yep. Okay, here's a close up. We've got the nice fish head and the rocks for weight. And the guts. And the guts. So let's try it out. Okay, you think that rock will hold the rope? Sure. Okay, let's try putting it in the water. Okay. And try to do it without falling in the water. Your mama doesn't get mad at me. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you got enough rope. Yeah, I should. Oh. Fill it up with water. Get it all the way. You got it. Okay, so how long are we gonna leave it in the water? Um, two. Maybe till we're gonna go to bed? Maybe. Check yeah. it then. Okay, just make sure your rope is really fixed. You don't wanna lose the trap in the creek. So you think you got something? Yeah, I Pull it up, let's see. No doubt. You have something here now, you see it? No, come here. It's awful far from me. Yeah, careful where you're stepping. Okay, stop there. Crayfish. Wait, two. Two. Okay. Two cray. Two crayfish. Wait. Yeah. Two. Can you see that? I hope it's coming out. Right here's one. 
There it goes. And then one over here. And then we got one over here. Lord, I don't believe it. Yep, we got two crayfish. We checked it last night, nothing. Yep, this morning we got something. And now we got two of them. <laughs> I'm really surprised. I didn't yeah. think we'd get anything. Yeah, we got two. Okay. There they both are. We're going to let them go. One of them only has one claw. Say bye, Liam. Bye. I honestly was really surprised. My grandson is ecstatic, and he not only did he get one, but no, he got two crayfish. So the trap worked, much to my surprise, and I want to thank Prepper Logic for challenging me. And I hope you all try his challenge. Go ahead, make a trap. This is Prepper Potpourri saying, please subscribe, share the knowledge, thumbs up if you like this video. If you want to receive more videos, just click on that little bell below. And yes, I do live near a gun range.